Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So today we are going to do Herzberg's motivation and hygiene theory. I'm going to explain it in very detail with examples and pictures. So watch till end and this photo is of Frederick Herzberg. This channel will help you with UGC net paper 1 and paper 2 social work and it is presented by Hitesh Arora. So introduction to motivation. Motivation is one of the most important factors in affecting human behavior and performance. The level of motivation an individual or team exerted in their work task can affect all the aspect of organization's performance. Now Herzberg's two-factor theory. Frederick Herzberg's well-known two-factor theory was designed in the year 1959. Based on 200 engineers and accountants, Feedback collected in USA regarding their personal feelings towards the working environment, Herzberg's defined two sets of factors in declining employees' working attitude and level of performance named as motivation and hygiene factors. So we are going to do it in detail. The theory was based around interviews and 203 American uh, interviews with 203 American accountants and engineers in Pittsburgh chosen because of their professions growing importance in the business world by Herzberg. So the subject were asked to relate times when they felt exceptionally good or exceptionally bad about their per, uh, present job or any other previous job and to provide reasons and a description of sequence of events giving rise to the positive or negative feelings. So the two assumptions of Herzberg's theory are being satisfied with one's job is equivalent to being motivated. So satisfying is equal to motivated. A satisfied worker is a motivated worker. And the second is job satisfaction and dissatisfaction are separate concepts with unique determinants based on work with accountants and engineers. So this point you're going to get uh, more clarity in further slides. So satisfaction which is the mostly affected by motivator factors. Motivation factors help increase the satisfaction but aren't that effective on dissatisfaction. So motivating factors bring satisfaction or no satisfaction as you can see down below or hygiene factors bring no dissatisfaction or dissatisfaction. So dissatisfaction is the result of the hygiene factors and these factors if absent or inadequate causes dissatisfaction but their presence has little effect on long term satisfaction. So motivating factors are long term than hygiene factors. So job sat uh, satisfaction influences by motivator factors and the motivator factors are achievement, recognition, responsibility, the work itself, advancement, personal growth. So these are motivator factors and hygiene factors are that brings job dissatisfaction. They are working condition, co-worker relation, policies and rules, supervision and quality, base work, salary. So the uh, improving the motivator factors increases job satisfaction and improving the hygiene factors decreases the job dissatisfaction. So if you see this picture, you'll see that down below there are motivation factors. So this um, graph shows motivation factors and left shows the low motivation factor and as you move from uh, left to right it shows the high motivation factors and if you see the left uh, left hand side you will see the hygiene factor and lower is low hygiene factors and as you move upwards there is high um, hygiene factors so if motivation is low the first uh, part of the graph if the motivation is low and the hygiene is high, then employees consider their job as a good place to stay at, but not motivated. Job for them is merely a way to pay bills. And if there is the motivation is low and hygiene is also low, the employees are not motivated and are dissatisfied with work condition and this leads to high turnover and low morale. 
there are very less motivated and there is high turnover they leave the job more then comes there is high motivation but low hygiene a typical case when employees love their job but they have a lot of uh, complaints about the work condition so the risk is of leaving the job is high and the fourth condition is when motivation is high and the hygiene is also high so employees are highly motivated and barely have any complaints and it is the ideal situation so i hope you understand this concept and if you find this video of some value please like and subscribe and share with your friends whom you find it would be beneficial to and uh, press the bell icon so you get the updates as soon as i post the video thank you so much